Do you wish there was a way to automatically cut up your video so you didn't have to do it yourself? Well, it turns out there is such a thing and it's called scene cut detection within DaVinci Resolve. Stick around and I'll show you how. Hello and welcome to Digi Pro Tips, where we aim to work smarter, not harder. It's Quick Tip Tuesday and we're going to be talking about scene cut detection within DaVinci Resolve. What can scene cut detection do for you? Well, as I just said, it can automatically cut up your video for you. You don't have to do a thing. How do we do it? Well, let's jump straight into Resolve and I'll show you. Once you've got Resolve open, you need to head to the Media tab down the bottom. It won't work in any other tab for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, but anyway, head there and locate your media from the drop down menus on the left hand side. Once you've found your media, you need to go right click and then hit Scene Cut Detection. This will load up a separate window that has your video within inside it and a little bar along the bottom. You can raise or lower that bar and that is your threshold bar. What this bar is going to do is it's going to change the threshold with which Resolve is going to look at video frame by frame and add a cut point where it sees the contrast change dramatically. The lower the threshold, the more cut points it will add for the different points in contrast that it finds. The higher, the less points that it will add. Once you've got it to a point where you think it will work well for you, you can change this afterwards. Hit scene cut, detect, and you are ready to go. It's gonna go through the whole of your video, looking for different points of contrast, adding cut points, and then after that, you can add them to your timeline and export an XML. So on this little example here, I've put in one of my videos and it has gone through and found the different points of contrast and added a cut point there. Once it has the time codes for you, hit add cuts to media pool. You can then close out of that window and go to your edit tab down the bottom of Resolve. Here you've got your timeline and your media pool. Highlight all of those clips and drag them to your timeline. Then you can just go file, export XML, name it what you want, but make sure if you're going to Premiere that you choose FCP7 files with a .xml file name at the end. It won't work with any of the other FCP types. It has to be that .xml. Now that you've done that, you can head to Premiere, import that XML, and you will see all of your cut points there done. Didn't have to do a thing. We find this tool useful in all sorts of scenarios, especially if you've lost a project file for an old video and you need to cut it up and just change a few specific things. Now, obviously it's not the same as an EDL and it doesn't cover you for things like transitions and other graphics that you've added in afterwards, but it is a good starting point to get back to if you have lost everything. If you found this useful, then do give us a subscribe because we're coming back every Tuesday with these quick tips and stick around for even more in-depth videos throughout the week. We'll see you next time.